you all here. Uh, first of all, uh, in the travel, you know, from your hometown to the conference of your home to come here, and so many people have been blessed here uh, today by what you all are doing. So again, for those that may not have had opportunity to uh, hear what was happening, uh, share with them, and the truck is empty, I would assume? The truck is now the empty. The truck is yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, talk to us again about your company. So uh, we're an Austin tech company called Free Water, and we're the world's, believe it or not, we're the world's first free beverage company. It never costs any money. Uh, we print advertisements directly on aluminum bottles and paper cartons. And not only does that pay for the water, it also allows us to donate 10 cents per water to charity too. Okay. Uh, and you guys came up with this creative idea. How, how long ago? How long you been doing this? Six years ago, my wife and I were volunteering uh, with uh, refugees in Europe, and a lot of them told us they didn't have food or water. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to create a creative solution that made helping the poorest people on the planet in Asia and Africa, as simple as saving money on your groceries here in the U.S. Right. So it took many years to invent it, and this is our first year in distribution, and distributed about 75,000 waters in the last uh, eight or nine months, and donated uh, 15,000 to charity so far. Okay. Talk to us about the bottle, because the packaging is totally different. The bottle is, is different than your normal water bottle. We, we didn't want to make water free and do it in a plastic bottle. So uh, Give us the reason why. Only 9% of plastic is recycled. Even if you throw it in the blue recycle bin, only 9% of that at best is recycled. If you look under any plastic container, you're going to see the recycle symbol right. logo with a number. Let's say, for example, number five or number seven. Mm -hmm. And what most people don't realize or understand, Coca-Cola doesn't want you to know, <laughs> is that the number seven could only be recycled with the number seven, the number five with the number five. So if you've got a, two different numbers on the plastic, yes, sir. they can't mix together, they just throw them away because it's, it's cheaper to make new plastic from scratch than to recycle, to recycle it. Right. And with all of the water that's coming to Mississippi, and again, uh, I'm in a conversation uh, as recently as this morning with our senator, just got off the phone with the Department of Health. Uh, should we be talking about what to do with all of these plastic bottles? They, they need to be recycled, right? But um, unfortunately, they probably can't be. You know, uh, we met a lot of amazing people today from the community and the story that they say is, this is Flint, Michigan, you know, 2.0. Some people showed us pictures of water out of their faucet that looked like mud water. And that was from even before this flood. And so, you know, our hopes is that uh, the people in charge fix it quickly. Because if, if you ask the government, the problems in Flint are solved. If you ask the people of Flint, they still have this problem a half decade later. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully this isn't a Flint 2.0. I'm, I'm more worried about that than the plastic bottles at the moment. Well, um, we're grateful for uh, people like yourself uh, and your uh, colleague uh, that travel here because what has happened, I was talking with a gentleman that uh, left Ukraine actually to come here uh, to cover this story. So what has happened is it's on the world news now and it's putting more pressure on those people here on the local level that haven't been, have not been doing what they should do uh, to begin to move forward to do that. And our uh, conversation, we're requesting that they involve the people, involve the citizens, you know, let them be a stakeholder. And let's try to move forward. Uh, you know, my heart go out to our seniors. We had several calls this morning. Uh, you all have provided us water and I'm gonna be delivering water when I leave here to those that don't have transportation, disabled. So again, the fact that you all are traveling from your hometown to come here to Mississippi on behalf of the Mississippians, we thank you all so much.